Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the vlog, welcome to a brand new sunny day. The sun has not been out in days and I feel like this is a common topic here on my channel because I really feel as though the lack of sun contributes to my anxiety but I'm feeling good today when I'm filming this. It's Good Friday so we have a long weekend ahead of us. Easter, I'm gonna spend it with my mom and Mike is coming and spending Easter with us, which I'm so excited about. I journaled this morning and you guys were a topic in my journal because I am so grateful for you guys and I really hope that you know that. I really love that you guys watch my videos. I love that you allow me to just be myself. I love those of you who comment all the time and I have to say, I had a terrible rash on my face, which it's funny because I need to film, well, it's not really funny, but I need to film my Sephora VIB recommendation video today. And I was freaking out. I have this rash on my face. In doing so, like prepping for this video, I was looking back at old videos literally a year ago when I was going to Napa. And then when I was in Napa, I had this rash all over my face for weeks. I could not get rid of it. It was from using the Summer Fridays. This time I used the number seven retinol. And I don't think it's like the creams problem. I think it's like my skin problem. I always get this a few days before my period and I'm getting my period tomorrow, but it feels like today. I put the retinol here and I'm gonna show you a video that I took of the day after I used the number seven cream. It was terrible. So that was two days ago. And then yesterday it was a little less red, but still a lot of bumps. And one of my subscribers who comments on all my videos and I just, I have to say like, I really genuinely love you guys. I look forward to all of your comments to just, I just really look forward to talking to you. And one of my subscribers that comments on my videos often told me to take a little bit of tea tree oil mixed with jojoba oil and pat it around my mouth. It looks so much better. Yesterday, it was so bad like you could still see it but honestly i only did it once and it's been less than 12 hours since i tried but it looks so much better and it feels so much better like i looked like an angry scaly lizard i need to film my sephora vib sale video and i don't think i'm gonna be able to put makeup here so i'm gonna be red mouthed but it is what it is we keep it real here on my channel and you know, I have to film the video because I put all the things aside that I would recommend. I'm talking about things I would recommend, things I would not recommend, and what's on my wish list. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say, like, thank you for the recommendation to my subscriber. Thank you to the rest of my subscribers for just talking. Like, I genuinely look forward to hearing from you. And Again, thank you for letting this be like my space of healing, my space of everything. I just feel really grateful today and I wanna carry this gratitude through the weekend, especially because again, when I'm filming this, it is Easter weekend. And if you are celebrating Easter, happy Easter. I hope you had a happy, healthy, peaceful holiday with those that you love. Friends. Oh, friends. I wanna be friends. He just bites me when I lay with him on the floor. Friends, 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 you're destroying all the things in my house, friend. That's my friend. Friend. I just filmed my Sephora VIB sale recommendation video and I didn't put any makeup around my mouth and I'm proud of myself because I feel like that was definitely necessary. But I kind of feel bad though. Like, let me know. What do you think? I feel bad because I didn't really, uh, clearly I didn't put a lot of makeup on. This is a very low maintenance makeup look, but my skin can't handle it. And I really just want to look nice for Napa. Like I want to look and feel my best and like I had mentioned to you this morning, I was looking back on my Napa vlogs because I wanna like get in the spirit of going to Napa. So every time Mike and I go to Napa, I always watch our past vlogs just to like get into the zone, like the wine tasting, cheese eating zone, which I feel like I'm always in that, so I don't really know. But you know, it kind of just, it gets me hyped. I'm trying to be my own hype woman. I was watching back and I was like sad and I couldn't wear any makeup and I had all these really cute outfits and I just felt like, you know, I just wanted a little bit of makeup. I didn't put any makeup around my mouth because I was like, you know what, Napa's more important. So I do apologize, but my God, that was a really long video. I just filmed for like two hours. So editing that is gonna be a bitch. I'm loving this top though. Like, do I buy this? I feel like it's very like, 
tennis, housewife. I feel like the color looks good on me. I don't know. I'm trying to do that whole thing where I'm trying to figure out what colors look good with my complexion. I find like people did that whole color analysis thing and some people just look like exponentially better. One of those people being Tati Westbrook. Not that I ever thought that she looked terrible, but my God, every video she pops up in now, I'm like, oh my God, her eyes, her skin, everything is just glowing because she like figured out what color palette she is. I don't know. Anywho, I got this email yesterday from Gianni Carini, which you guys know. I love that bag brand. They are based in Florence, Italy, and I buy their crap all the time. I got an email yesterday and it was like, your shipment has shipped. And for a moment I was like, oh my God, someone stole my credit card, someone stole my identity. Like I have not bought anything. I haven't bought anything. And it was like, your shipment has shipped from Italy. And I'm like, what? What's happening? Then I went in my email. Oh my God, so cute. Let me pull up the email right now. Hi Fortune, we're ready to toast with you. This year spent together was wonderful. To wish you a happy birthday, we have decided to give you a special gift that you will receive directly at home. Best wishes, Gianni Carini. I love them and I can't wait to see what my gift is. I feel like I buy a lot of handbags from them. So maybe it's like their top customers they do this for, or maybe it's because they've seen my video. I don't know, but there is nowhere anywhere that says like that they send birthday gifts so i don't know what it is but it's supposed to come today so i'm very excited i feel like my skin is doing a lot better thank you so much again to my subscriber i love you i feel so i feel so happy i don't know if i told you this but mm, a couple years ago i was talking to my coworkers at the time about what we were eating on like i forgot what holiday it was maybe it was like thanksgiving and i don't know why so naive of me, but I like always assumed that everyone ate pasta for like every holiday because I was talking to my coworkers and they were like, oh, you know, what are we, what do you have for whatever holiday it was? I honestly don't remember. And I was like, oh, and pasta, but that's like a given. And they were like, is that a given though? Being Italian, I guess I never realized that is it an Italian thing to eat pasta? I don't know. I mean, I'm American, but you know, my, my family is from Italian. You know, descendants, I have no idea. Ancestors, um, anyway, really long story short, what is your favorite pasta? Because being someone that assumed that everyone ate pasta for everything, I judge people and I'm not, it's not like a hard judge. I mean, it's like a pasta, you know, it's not like a, a judge of character. It's a judge of taste, really. What is your favorite pasta? My favorite pasta, and you can judge me, you know, it's just, it's not a one way street here, is rigatoni. I could eat rigatoni for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, I could really eat pasta for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but Mike and I tried this new pasta that I have never tried before. And being someone that grew up thinking that everyone should be eating pasta for every meal. I found it really interesting that I had never tried this pasta before. I'm so sorry that the lighting is changing, but we're just living. Um, and I wanna show it to you because I also, I wanna know, have you ever had this pasta? Maybe I'm not as like Italian as I like to think. What in the hell? Campanelle? Campanelli? I think it's Campanelle. I think that's how you say it. Um, these little like weird guys they are delicious. Mike and I tried them for the first time not that long ago, and they are really good noodles. I love a noodle. I don't know. Is that weird too though? And you can judge me. You could judge me. I love a, a noodle more than I love, is that a noodle? A macaroni, I guess my mom would call it. I love a macaroni more than I love a spaghetti or like an angel hair. I don't know. I like a noodle. I don't, I, yeah, just a preference, but I'm curious to hear. What is your preference? Because I love pasta. Considering that I thought I knew all the pastas in the world and clearly I don't. Maybe your pasta is a pasta that I've never tried and maybe I need to try it. Oh my God, my little squirrel friend. It's very windy outside. I hope he's okay. But I could just sit here and just nosh. I could just nosh. Mm. I'm the little rigatones. Mm. So good. Honey bombs, oh my God. If there's one other thing that I absolutely love, it is a tomato. I love tomatoes. I can eat pasta and tomatoes for every meal. Rigatoni with a little bit of olive oil, grated Parmesan cheese, and then warmed up tomatoes with salt and pepper. Oh, 
That's like my favorite meal at the moment. Like honestly, it's gonna be my birthday and I kinda just wanna stay home for my birthday and Mike has made me clams for my birthday and they were bomb, but like my favorite meal at the moment is a meal that we eat every week. So I don't really know what to ask for. But anyway, honey bombs, these are delicious. They're sweet, honey, crunchy, mm, they're so good. But let me tell you something, why are tomatoes so expensive? Tomato on the vine also very important, much better. You need to try them. They are bomb.com. Honestly, nothing kicks off the weekend quite like yoga. So I'm gonna go to yoga and then Mike and I are gonna go out to dinner. It is the last Friday of Lent. Thank you, Jesus. Literally, because I am sick of not being able to eat meat. I understand it's a sacrifice, but it's just so complicated. So, got my bag and let's go. I don't wanna be late because when I'm late, I can't get into the Zen. You know, I feel like I'm rushing, I'm late. So, let's go. So, we're not late. I should stop talking. Surprise. I drove all the way to yoga. My class was canceled, so there was no Zen for me. So, I figured I'd go to ShopRite and pick up the cheese because Mike and I are making mac and cheese for Easter. <laughs> So our shop right didn't have Gruyere. So I went to the shop right next to my gym, picked up Gruyere, and I picked up some flowers for my mom. I'll show you, I got her purple tulips. And then I picked up a flower arrangement for Mike and I because our flowers died and we just threw them out. I'm not happy with how I arranged them. And Mike was like, wow, for someone who doesn't stress so many things, you are really stressing the little things. And I really am. I really, truly am. But I got my package from Gianni Chiarini. It says, from a Florence with love. And I'm hoping that this little surprise birthday gift will put a smile on my face. So nice of them, regardless of whatever it is. I love gifts. A little box. I love a little box. Does it come with a note? Thanks for choosing Gianni Chiarini. On the occasion of your birthday, we are happy to send you one of our bags as a special gift. We hope it will be your companion on the next adventures, enhancing your uniqueness. How nice. I love the red, super cute. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh my God, it's not a bag, it's a chain for my bag. This is cute, but I don't know what bag I'm gonna put this on. What's happening? It's just like a little twisted. So it's a little bag chain. That's cute. I'm not like super into these, to be honest. My excitement has dwindled, um, but it was very nice of them to send me this. Very nice of them. I thought it was gonna be a bag because that's what it said. It said it was sending me a bag. We are happy to send you one of our bags as a special gift. This is not a bag, but I mean, I don't mean to be a spoiled brat. I just kind of am one. So thank you, Gianni. I will put this on my bag and see how I like it. I will probably end up liking this more than my initial reaction because that's normally how things go. Let me put it on my Gianni bag and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is cuter than I gave it credit for. This is the only Gianni bag that I have that has like a crossbody attachment. Otherwise I just have the hobos, but this is cute. Super cute. And if I just wanted it to be like a design, like a little, look at that. It adds a vibe to my bag. I like that. And I like that it matches this bag because it has chocolate brown here. And then there's chocolate brown on top. Okay, so that's cute. And I'm very excited for this. More excited, I'm sorry, than when I first received it. But can you blame me? I thought I was getting a bag, not to be a brat. Again, it's free. And it was so nice of them to send to me. But now I'm thinking of like what other bags I can put this on. I don't know, but I will do my due diligence and report back, but that's cute. I feel like that's super cute. I might have to take her out to dinner tonight. I literally have an outfit that I wear every single Friday when Mike and I go out to dinner. I'll probably wear that same outfit with this bag. What do we think? Do we like this chain? Let me know your thoughts. I like that it's like a purpley brown. It's pretty and it goes with my purpley brown bag. All right, well, the light is dwindling, but I'm gonna put a little bit more of this Candy Chic lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury on. I'm like shaking. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm really sad that I didn't get to go to yoga. And I tried to turn it around and buy myself some flowers. 
Well, really I bought them for Mike because they just looked really pretty and they were sunflowers and sunflowers remind me of June, his birthday. So I bought them for Mike, but then the arrangement really didn't go as planned. But here's the outfit, like I said. This is a little questionable in terms of it being kind of wintry. I have this navy sweater that I love that my sister bought me. I have these pants that I've literally been renting from Rent the Runway for months and months and months. I will not stop renting them. I just have kept them. And I really could just buy them, but they're expensive. They're like 300 and something dollars and I refuse to pay that price. And then here's the bag. So let's lower you and give you a little look at the fit. I like this, it's super cute. I'm wearing little heel booties. And I like that now this can be a shoulder bag for me because otherwise it just had these little straps. And we all know I don't like a crossbody. So now I can sit there like this. Oh, it's so cute. Good morning. Good morning. Patience, please. Here you go. Well, the good news is that my face looks better today. The bad news is how my throat is hurting. I really hope I'm not getting sick because tomorrow's Easter. Hopefully this coffee will cure me. I truly believe coffee cures all. Let me show you the flowers that, I'm not kidding you, how many times I potted. Is it potted though? It's not potted because I didn't put them in a pot. I put them in a planter. I can't tell you how many times a planter. I didn't put them in a planter either. I put them in a vase. I saw them yesterday when I was in ShopRite and they were so pretty. I don't know. I really like the sunflowers. Just like, I know. I feel like it's not really sunflower season because that's like summer, is it not? So I don't really know where we got these sunflowers from in New Jersey. This one is my favorite. I don't know why. I know the sunflowers are so beautiful. And then I'm like, look at this leaf. But this leaf is very cool. I don't know what he's doing. And we love a thistle. In this house, we love a thistle. I have dead thistles upstairs in a little vase from my wedding. I'm not kidding you. I put them in this vase, I put them in a clear vase, I put them in this other vase that Mike's mom bought us that's the same like design except taller. And I don't know, they're just not giving in the vase. I don't know what it is, but I thought they were pretty. I don't know, a little pop of color. And then I bought these for my mom, tulips. I love tulips. My mom loves purple, so I'm gonna give them to her on Easter. I just thought that they were cute. I don't know, I like a tulip. Mike and I usually go to a tulip farm, although I haven't mentioned the tulip farm to him because I know that he hates going. I kind of want to go though, but I guess we have a lot of plans this April, so maybe not. But yesterday when my mom called me, she was like, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm like, arranging flowers in a vase because I don't know if you guys know this but when you get flowers you're supposed to cut like an inch off the bottom so every time Mike buys me flowers I go to the sink I run like uh, cool water and then I cut them and then I arrange them in the vase with water and food it helps them last longer seriously it does um, so I was at the sink cutting when she called me and she's like oh, what are you doing and I said I'm arranging flowers in a vase and she goes who are the flowers for and I said for myself and she goes, of course you would buy yourself flowers. And I wanted to say, hey ma, I bought you flowers too, but I want it to be a surprise. So maybe she'll feel, not that I want her to feel bad, but I don't know, I kind of do. You know why? N not to be mean. The other day we were talking about, I called her because I was like, what are we doing for Christmas? Nobody mentioned Christmas. I keep saying Easter is Christmas, but I called her and was like, what are we doing for Easter? And she had this whole menu and I'm like, you have this whole menu. You didn't even tell me that we were getting together for Easter whatever. So then she was like, I guess you can make the mac and cheese, which my mom doesn't like that my mac and cheese is better than hers. I'm just going to say it here. 
it's okay though. You know, I wouldn't like it either if someone did something better than me. But she said that like she feels bad asking me to bring anything because she knows that I'm not the one who makes it. She knows that Mike is the one that makes whatever I ask, whatever she asked me to bring. No, I made the mac and cheese. You shall not take that away from me. And then she was like, you don't cook anything. Guys, back me. You see that I cook things on this channel. I made the mac and cheese. And you know for damn sure I'm gonna vlog the mac and cheese that I make. It's so good. I'm gonna vlog it tomorrow when I make it before going to Easter because I need video evidence. And I bought you flowers, not just myself. I just showed them. So, ha! That's wild. Oh, I love you. No, you want to read the book too. You want to know how it ends. Wow, shooketh. I'm shook. First walk of the spring. First walk of the spring. It's a little windy. It's, it's, it's a brisk walk. But we're here. We're here. We're here. We out here. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and my birthday. Good morning from your chocolate haired bunny. It's Easter and I didn't vlog at all yesterday. Oh my God, yesterday was like a blur. Mike and I, we went for a walk. I got ready to go to my hair appointment. I, I somehow ended up a brunette. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of into it though. I went there and told Sam, that's my hairstylist, that I wanted something different. I don't know, I'm turning 33. I just feel like I've been that color blonde for a long time. And so this is what we came up with. It will get lighter as I wash it. I don't know, it always does, but I feel like the younger version of me. I just felt like it was fitting to go back, somewhat back to my roots. I mean, I'm definitely naturally darker than this, but I like myself with a little dimension, but let me know down below. Cause I would love to hear, do you think I look better as a brunette or a blonde? I'm really liking this brunette. I don't know. I'm really sorry that this vlog was very all over the place, but today when I'm filming this is Easter. I always upload a week later, so I'll film my weekend and then I upload it the next weekend. So when you're watching this, it's no longer Easter, but I'm gonna take you with me for my Easter. Because like I said yesterday, I woke up, I went for a walk, I got my hair done and I sat down and Sam was like, oh, this is gonna be so much quicker than what you scheduled yourself for. Because normally I'm there for like three and a half, four hours, which is like really the worst. So I was like, great, um, if, it's, if it's 11, I'll definitely be done for one. No, I didn't get done until like three o'clock and I got tacos. I, don't, I think I told you the last time after I got my hair done, I went to that taco place. That, there's like some taco place across the street. And I bit, I think I showed you my tongue was like black because I bit my tongue so hard. Well, yesterday I went and I got tacos because I sat in the chair for like five hours and was so hungry. And I ate them slowly and carefully because I was like, I don't want to bite a hole in my tongue again. I get up to throw all my trash out. Guys, I slid across the floor. There was like some kind of grease on the floor or something. I don't know, tacos, they're messy, they go everywhere. I guess there was like, I don't know, taco grease on the ground. I went flying across the floor. No one was in the restaurant when it happened to me and the cashier was like in the back helping the kitchen. So thankfully nobody saw, but like whatever. I mean, I fell and it's not my fault that I fell. It's really the restaurant's fault that I fell, but. I like hurt my finger. She's fine today, but she was like really red, but I went flying. And so then I left and I just think that maybe I should not go to that taco place because every time I go there, I seemingly get hurt. But anyway, I went, I visited my grandma, my Aunt Debbie came over, the three of us hung out, had some coffee. My grandma made me um, yams, so good. I love an Easter yam, yum, yum, yum. 
So I ate those and then I came home, Mike and I went to dinner. I don't know, it was kind of just like a whirlwind of a day. I like literally wasn't home all day from the time I woke up, we went for a walk and then, oh, and then we went to my sister-in-law's to like hang out with her for a little bit. We like, I was not home all day. I have a lot of cooking to do. Mike just told me that we're gonna go to his parents. So that means that I have less time than I had anticipated having. So that's always fun, especially for me because I wanted to wake up and enjoy my coffee and now I need to hurry up. I need to work out, I need to cook, I need to get ready. And like I said, I kind of want to see what my makeup looks like with this hair. What do we think? I kind of like it, right? I don't know, something different. You know, a 33 year old me, I just, I want just something different. Mix it up a bit, maybe like let go of the old in with the new, um, but let me know your thoughts, let me know what you think. And she curled it for me, which is so nice of her. So yeah, anywho, all right. Let's get our day started because I really need to um, and I haven't really worked out aside from walking the last two days. So I need to work out because I'm really trying to strengthen my hip to get back to it. Well, we need video evidence of me making the mac and cheese because everyone likes to claim my mac and cheese as their own. Who claims their mac and cheese? And so this is me setting the record straight. Wow, what lovely pants. Pussycat pants. Oh, that hurt my hip. These pants were a bad idea. Why? I love them. You don't like them? You bought them for me. They're so cute. Are you helping me? I don't want your help. Don't even offer. Well, some of it's heavy though. I'll help with a joke. It'll help with a joke. Why is this? Can we lower the TV? Kill the cat. Can we lower the Kill TV? The so turn loud. it off. Turn it off. Where's the remote? Under the table. Get in frame. Get in frame. Okay. Oh, right. Why do bunnies have such good skin? Oh, I already forgot the answer. Why? I always remember to exfoliate. We love it. We love a bunny joke. We love a relevant bunny joke. Wow, those look good. I didn't want any pancakes. You were offered. I was? And you didn't... Ugh, sir. Offered and you, you didn't mention chocolate chip pancakes. That's because I didn't know they were chocolate chip pancakes. I didn't want chocolate chip pancakes. Mix is a chocolate chip mix that we bought. I must have bought that. Yeah, I feel like you did. That's why I'm gonna put regular good old fashioned pancake mix on the menu. On the menu? On the shopping list. I just, I don't need your help. I just need you to maybe lift things when they're heavy. Like I feel like the pasta was really heavy the last time. Right, this is how it starts. No, it's not. Don't you dare take credit for my masterpiece. If I remember correctly, I made one for my family and you made one for your family and nobody touched yours. It was on the sad little t end table. Wasn't that what happened? Yeah. You're right. Terrible. Well, oh, so you can do this yourself. Oh, I can, but I'm going to need you to lift the pasta because it's too... <gasps> I'm out. <laughs> it's Easter. Let it be known that Michael has left to shower and shave and get ready for the day. So it is only I in the kitchen. So I'm just putting my cheese in here and we're making mac and cheese. Did I tell you this? I think I did because I was very upset. I make a bomb mac and cheese and nobody will give me credit for it. Except my brother. I think my brother says that I make a good mac and cheese. So Robert, thank you. Nobody said mac and cheese was healthy, so a whole stick of butter. Here we go. That is delicious. Macaroni in a pot. One and a half cups cheese. Wow. She's a beaut. Ta-da! 
made by yours truly. Let's all take a very quick moment for my cat pants. Look at these pants that Mike got me for Easter. They're workout pants with cats all over it. Look, this cat's gonna lick his bum. Like broken always does. How cute are these? They're so cute. I'm gonna be that crazy cat lady at yoga. Oh my God, I love them though. And they're my favorite color. Mm. She's waiting in line for my mac and cheese. Right? right? I know you are. Hello. <laughs> if anyone doubted me, this is what it came out. You can show my shells also. Show sure your shells. What's wow, on top those look good. And it's mom's just, mashed know. potatoes. It's, how's my mac and cheese? Mid. It's mid? <laughs> you better take that back, boy, because you took a big helping of that. That's a big helping? I think so.